the fires, boy, the Lord was doing favors. Uh, blaze through the fire, yeah, we had a few. Uh, lost a few wages. Uh, still coming rampant, misbehaving, misbehaving. Uh, still coming anti up, rebelling with my ravers. Uh, still don't give a f about who be the latest. Can't be locked up in them cages. Start living up to what the f you think of days. But hey, what about it? So I stepped on stage, they were like. DA Sports coverage of the NFL has us on the west coast of the Sunshine State. Downtown Tampa is the spot, Raymond James Stadium. Tonight, it's the first of two here on this Monday night, as it'll be the defending NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles, taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. They go with a former Lion. It's DeAndre Swift. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give them 15 yards to start their first drive of the game. Plays like that will really help this offense settle in here on the road. And when you go on the road, you also have to deal with the fans as well. And when you have those types of runs, that'll settle them back into their seats. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Got a man. It's Brown. The result only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rally to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. away to his left and he's left with no option here but to throw it away you look at this defense for Tampa Bay they put together a strong effort last week in the win over the Bears CD and the big difference in the game their ability to force turnovers multiple in fact being able to take the ball away give it back to their offense the big difference in the game it was impressive now the question can they duplicate it Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. But anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test it for a but that time, they were up to the challenge. Throwing his 
Hurts. Hurts. And it's knocked away and incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there in the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and ten at their own 20-yard line. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, giving 14. First down from Evans, still one of the most dependable receivers in the NFL. Nine seasons, all above 1,000 yards, and he's climbing career leaderboards. Already in the top 50 in yards, top 30 in touchdowns. Play fake, Mayfield. That's caught by Durham. And he lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Fumble on first down now. Here's second down. They will run for the first time here with White. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Here is third and five. Throwing Mayfield. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Fourth down, so Jake Kamar there. This will be fielded at the 17. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. You look at this defense for Tampa Bay. They put together a strong effort last week in the win over the Bears CD. And the big thing for them was the interceptions. And you hear teams all the time talk about establishing themselves against the pass. You have no fly zones and things of that nature. This group had a bunch of them in last week's game. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 44 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Forced out to his left. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down, but give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. Oh. 
from the gun. It's Hurts. Flushed out right. This will be caught by Brown. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, this defense for the Buccaneers, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there, and they came away with three interceptions in that game. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. What the only way about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure is starting to close in. He's just got to throw this one away. Sets up to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. From the 10, first and goal. Here's Swift. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the power run out of the bag and got a couple extra yards with it. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Here's Hurts to throw. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish a as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they're going to give me up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. No score after one on EA Sports. They were held out last time. Here now is third and goal from the one. the tight end Goddard touchdown Dallas Goddard his second touchdown on the season and the Eagles post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter Elliott good on the extra point and that makes the score seven nothing now after the touchdown here's Elliott on to kick it away Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed and practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. White, he'll try the left side. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Elliott good with a PAT. And it's now 14 to nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there.
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. First down, here's White. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. The Bucs at 2-0 here to begin the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Here's a second and eight. Mayfield. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. It's Nicobe Dean with a pick. And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National Football League. And I love what teams do when that happens. You bring the ball to the sideline, the equipment guy grabs it, he puts a piece of tape on it, writes on it so that you know what it is, and then they tuck it away so that you can have it for later and put it on your mantle. Pretty good deal for him right there. Now he's eager to get back out on the field and get a second one. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. 60 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. From the five, second and four. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And his throw is incomplete. Absolutely just needed a touch more air under it. Steady fire, an absolute bullet. The offense on third down tonight. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and four. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. They run straight ahead here with White. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. 
So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. The 20, five, touchdown, Tampa Bay. His second rushing touchdown of the year and third overall. And the Bucs are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that'll cut the lead to 17-7. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Third down and six. Now back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of it. They just got done. They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. And take it right on the 30. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the box will get ready to go on offense. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they looked up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Of course, they have the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Mayfield. And he knocks the ball falls incomplete. Offenses all over continue to be aggressive, and most people never turn down a shot at a deep ball, but oftentimes it attracts a little bit of extra attention, and it did on that play, and that one got knocked away. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. the ground and Swift to start the drive and he'll get this up just shy of the 30. At the end of all that hitting and hollering it was a four yard run so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run but the goal shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Second down, here's Hertz. And incomplete on the deep ball. They're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. And this is a confident goal. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. And I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half. 
when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return, and that will come the offense as they take over. At their own 28 yard line. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 66 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Mayfield to throw it. There's a short one taken in by Otten. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Now a second down throw for Mayfield. Finding Otten once more. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And his kick is indeed good. And they're back with it a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller. Very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll throw now on the final play. Open man has got it, the tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. One touchdown is the difference. 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they trail here to begin the second half. What's going to be a key for them to get back in the game? I think they're right there, and I think this game is still up for the taking for them because we always talk about turnovers. They had two of them in the first half, and once you start talking about if you have three, four, or five, you know it's beyond difficult to try and win a football game with that. Those have to be eliminated. If they take care of the ball, they still got a shot. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, 
most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football for triple option, you've actually called that play. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a give up the middle. This is right. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. There to stop him, Terrell Edmonds. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU, most valuable unit. But you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Here's Mayfield. They're throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. On third down, Mayfield. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 30. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now back to the ground game with White. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. 77 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. From the 23, this is second and three. They stay on the ground with White. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. From the red zone now, Mayfield. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Russell Gage, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from drawing level. And oh, it's blocked. Picked up by the offense. This is a live ball. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right. A lost opportunity. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Hurts. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, the old momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Throwing his hurts. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. 
Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Flush to his right. And an off balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Escaping the pressure right. They'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. By sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield. But he doesn't scramble for the first, but he does get the last lap by baiting the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. Third down and ten. Looking to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Joe Tryon Shoyinka showcasing the pass rush. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. That's taken on the 25. It's a 40-yard punt, but they lose yardage on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The part was a part of the defensive back. I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he'll work down inside the 45. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And they'll come up second and seven. Point it right, point it right, point it right. Working out of the gun, Mayfield gets the check down throw to right. It'll be a gain of five, and this will wind up being a third and three. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he is caught. He's going to have the first down and more than that. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. No foul, no fumble. It's out, it's loose. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL. A complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that'll make this a six-point game. Touchdown. Here's McLaughlin to kick off. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? 
run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Ball on the 27. Here's a second and five. Hurt sets up to throw it. Flushed out right. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the play. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. From the gun, it's Hurts. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. But first down, Hurts going deep here for Watkins. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins, 66 yards. And the Eagles are an extra point away from taking the lead here in the fourth. A very important extra point there, up and good. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. Now this throw caught left side. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one good for 26 and a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Mayfield throw complete to Otten. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield strength at the 49. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it's second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch. But still an effective gain nonetheless. Mayfield now on second down. Evans has it left side. And Evans will have a box first down as he'll be taken down at the 46. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They'll go up the middle with White. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. He's got his target. That's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. 
Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Nine-yard line, second and six. Throwing, Mayfield. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the Bucs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to go allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Well, the Jets sweep. This is Godwin. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. Here now, second and goal. Second down, Mayfield. Throw left side, complete. That's White. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Now Mayfield. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Buccaneers put together a fourth quarter drive to take the lead. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good long look at it. So a big play coming now for the Bucs as they'll go for two. Mayfield to throw. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth-quarter lead. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. They'll come up first and 10 here. to throw and that's complete to Brown and he's going to get out of bounds with the first down so that's going to double their pleasure for sure they get the first and save a timeout I like the design that we're seeing right there this is what they need down by a touchdown here in the fourth they just need to keep working their way downfield and when they see openings take their shots Now left side on the swing pass. Our defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam coming out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Back to throw. That is incomplete. Trying to go for the big one on second down. Now they're likely down to the final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front.
He'll look to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. And the Buccaneers have just about sewn up this football game. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. This is second and eight. up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter. Maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. This is first and 10. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's second down. left to go he's back to throw pass complete got her and this will be a first down as well but the clock continues to move well, this offense still has the one timeout here remember first and ten they'll throw on first down with Hurts eluding the pressure right yeah, he's going to be out of bounds but not before he takes it inside the 40 that one checks all the boxes, doesn't it? You get the first down, check. Get out of bounds, stop the clock, check. Well, how about one last check? Keep your quarterback from getting hit. That's a big check. Yeah, check there as well. Good call. First and ten, it's Hurts. Looking left side, and he's got a man. Brad Smith. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. They come up now on second and two. Hey. 
One final shot. They'll look to throw. Looking for the end zone. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. It all came down to one final jump ball on the Hail Mary, but part of the defense was ready, able to force it to be incomplete. Ball game over. Look, let's face it. Everybody wants to work the ball in closer and take a more high percentage pass to try and tie the game. But the Hail Mary, that's what they had to work with. And now they're just hoping that their jumpers can get up higher and are stronger than the defenders. Not the case in this instance. They end up losing the game. So for the Bucs, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New Orleans Saints. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, the early struggles continue as they... Back in jail with no bell at 19. Up the road with the life is at 20. Made my first hundred thousand at 23. Now who is he or who is she? Up and speak on my name when you ain't me. Why do you talk when I'm overseas? Biggie Smalls when I move, it was all a dream. Keep on talking and talking and fuck me up. Call me lucky, I guess I got dummy luck. Give it a play and then it is time. Better believe he gon' it up. Hey, he might stay on YouTube. Say that you was up and put that shit on YouTube. Why you always rapping about the shit that you do? Why you always rapping about the shit that you do? Hey, used to have a silver tooth and I was just a pup, yeah. Now I got some killers who got shotties with the pups. I don't want to catch the feelings, I be trying to see what's up. Got a shorty clean the fitness, I'm a diamond and the running back. Used to have a silver tooth but I was just a pup. Now I got some killers who got shotties with the pups. I don't want to catch the feelings, I be trying to see what's up. Got that shorty clean the fitness, I'm a diamond and the running back. First order of biz, no snitch. And I try to keep it silent, but the kids don't listen. Happy birthday, got another hit, no flinch. And I tell them, send them watch it like a fit. She on the class trying to get a nigga. She think I'm a last cause I got a pass for her. And I ain't trying to let her down, but I'm not. If you was trying to settle down, get a fact. So I'm pull up in the city with a nice jump. Lights on, lights on. Chinese throw the chicken, need a wife to throw the rice on. Pull up double park with all the ice on. Pick them like, she running up. She running down. She pay a bill. She it up. 50 seconds, she that double down, then I double down. 2023 and I'm the only coming up, yeah. Silver tooth, and I was just a pup, yeah. Now I got some killers who got shotties with the pups. I don't want to catch the feelings, I be trying to see what's up. Got a shorty clean dependence, I'm a diamond in the rough. 24 kind of DVs in the stars. Rings going off like Michael with the club. Only one model with designers in the thug. When we shop at Rickon, bring a bottle for the couple platinum records later. Still, I got the game locked. Come on, line, smash it, then Tory Lane's pop. Who got his word in his best in every raindrop? Hit him with that. And they get their brain swap. Walk around like I'm nigga with the diamonds in the clock. We ain't walking on these. I got diamonds in my sock. Might be funny like I'm Biggie, but I'm riding like I'm pop. I'm the king of your city. Give a about your block. Lights on, lights off. Go on, twerk it if you know that it's off. Deep dive and I get lost. Go on, turn up if you know that you the boss. Hey, 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 used to have a silver.
over to when I was just a pup, yeah. Now I got some killers who got shotties with the pups. I don't want to catch the feelings, I be trying to see what's up. I got shorty clean the fitness, I'm a diamond and the run it back. Used to have a silver tooth when I was just a pup. Now I got some killers who got shotties with the pups. I don't want to catch the feelings, I be trying to see what's up. I let shorty clean the fitness, I'm a diamond and the run <laughs> Stand up. Look. Do the he say, she say, getting no delay. Run it like V-Lay, bro. You ain't got it like this. In my part, see straight, big fur jacket from eBay, looking timeless. Hey, I gotta let my skin fade, marinate. We got to toast up, celebrate. Everyone screen next up, but I'm the number one candidate. Number one. Captain's on, and I'm making key plays. When I'm doing shows, gotta get all prepaid. What you? I'm on it. Break, no side, no about these ways. Boy, let my skin fade, marinate. We got to toast up, celebrate. Everyone screen next up, but I'm the number one candidate. Number one. Oh, star boy, excellence. That's me. Them other guys, irrelevant. Yeah. They all on. <laughs> Zoe Camp, it's half white, half melanin. <laughs> Baby face and a white gold tooth cap. I treat the waiter nice, she loved that. I mix the blueberry pie. It's not what I wear, it's how I rock that. If I can buy that twice, I'll cut that. Sweet one, ten, ten, spot that, chop that. Tryna lock me at the teller, it's not that. Oh, do the he say, she say, getting no delay. Run it like V-Lay, bro, you ain't got it like this. In my part C straight, big fur jacket from eBay, looking timeless. I got it let my skin fade, marinate. We got to toast up, celebrate. Everyone screen next up, but I'm the number one candidate. Number one. I'm a number one, like you say, set page. Used to kick boot on the estate back then. T90s with the Levi's matching. Drinks in the denim, that's classic. classic. Beats get wrapped like Futamaki, that's a sushi roll. I'm a young CEO, got do as your toe, got at your stack, got play your role. I was OT, all shutting down shows from A to B, long way to go. About time they know about me. Hello, the b jiggle and clap, jello. I've been on top, where they at? Below, presidential flow, Marilyn Monroe. I got pounds, got euros, stacking them both. Oh, do the he say, she say, getting no delay, run it like V-Lay, bro, you ain't got it like this. In my part C straight, big fur jacket from eBay, looking timeless. I got it, let my skin fade, marinate. We got to toast up, celebrate. Everyone screen next up, but I'm the number one candidate. Number one. Captain's on, and I'm making key plays. When I'm doing shows, gotta get all prepaid. What you, I'm on it, break, no side, no about these ways. I got it, let my skin fade, marinate. We got to toast up. Celebrate everyone screen next up, but I'm the number one candidate. Number one. Strike up the band, stomping on them like a cute dog or alpha man. In Miami, hard rock jumping like a rock band. You know me, I love my green and cheese like a Packers fan. I'm a player, gotta keep it player, how the game go. With the steppers, I ain't gotta tell them, they just train to go. Calling plays and I'm calling shots like the head coach. First class, so we take the private, we don't do coach. They was hot then, now they cold now. They was hot then, now they cold now. They was hot then, now they cold now. Dirty, yeah, you know we global with it. Black fit, limo tent, you don't know who in it. Whole team having motion, world no winning. I'm no for handling, been in the other do no for this. Big motion, boy, big vibing, boy. Tell them pipe that loud talk down, cause they ain't making noise. Yeah, homie, we them boys. Who they be preaching about? If you see LT around, we're ballers bound to make a crowd. Let it try. Any, any, money, more. 
I knock them down three in a row. From the street straight to the field, from the field right to the show. All my dogs are trained to go. Make sure my people don't work no more. Been let down so many times and stabbed my back. I swear it don't hurt no more. Got dirt all on my hands, but I still washing and count this money. I had to stop rocking so many chains. I was trying to work out and it hurt my stomach. I get them wrapped, that boy mummy. Black on black, this made back done. When times was dark, we stood on the block around the clock. Now my life, son. I had to make it out. Rest a piece of dope. I took that paper out. Wanted some more laying out on the door and bought my neighbor's house. I done done so many favors for some people. Feel like I'm favored out. No eating in, we taking out. Same people who was cheering, they hating now, but so what? Damn Marino seats inside this road truck. They dolphin blue. Big homie, y'all little boys better remember who y'all talking it's to. It's gonna cost you like a 50 for me and the gang, and we just walking through. We count money often too. I'm getting hooked up down 
I talk my come on that other side the Oakley way hey C5 can't nobody do me like I do me and I don't care to be nobody else cause I'm unique I'm fine with me I am God and God is me dream so big might die in my sleep and I ain't running from it it's only a loss if you ain't learned nothing from it I turned to a boss remember I was under budget now I pay the staff off and fly to another country it's for the love of the game never for the love of money but don't get it twisted, still clocking big digits. Some rodeo, big spending. All the cribs, luxury. I can't recall the last time I did dishes, big business. All my deals, six figures and up. When you get it out the mud, it hit different. You should sell when the cops came, we hit fences. Now I'm blowing smoke out the country with two thick. I'ma take them both back to the penthouse and give. That's how it's supposed to be. Life is beautiful, I'm doing I don't believe. Flew out to Columbia and brought me home some to be the underdog now they put me overseas and i don't want to be nobody else nigga. do me like i do me and i don't care to be nobody else because i'm unique i'm fine with me i am god and god is me dream so big might die in my sleep but i ain't running from it it's only a loss if you ain't learned nothing from That's it i turned to a boss remember i was under budget now i pay the staff off and fly to another country it's for the love of the game never for the love of money i used to want to be like wayne i used to want to be like nip with the cuban link chain i used to rap like jay trying to make me a name now all i do is c5 and i'ma stay in my lane i could do anything i put my mind to that's fact i want to be a but so i start i like so i went on and start flipping packs i heard the drought three and said dog i'm a rap i did that superseded expectation i refuse to settle for anything less than greatness i'm the hottest rapper on the west let's just face it so put that pride to the side then let's get paper can't nobody do me like i, I do, do me. me and i don't care to be nobody else because I'm, I'm unique i'm fine with me i am god and god is me dream so big might die in my sleep but i ain't running from it it's only a loss if you ain't learned nothing from it i turned to a boss remember i was under budget now i pay the staff off and fly to another country it's for the love of the game never for the love of money bars c5, c5. just incredible hunger flow too it's easy On top of that, she good for me. Made me wanna say, Uh-oh. even though I got plenty. If I'm down to my last penny, I still gotta. Uh-oh. Still gotta. Uh-oh. I still gotta. gotta. Back up, back up, cause it's on. On this old train line, I'ma get it done. Now I got the party jumping like it's double dutch. Then we spun the black, came back, double up like. Ooh, I gotta. Uh, and I'm. Yeah, met her uptown, uh, but she from the borough. Better known as the boogie down. All sucky, sucky now. Get up by the kitchen, man, I'm cooking now. Brother man, slip me skin, suck it to me. And they gotta shut their mouth when they talking to me. I look around, it's a whole lot of fucks in my But I hit the highest man, don't want the drama. Hey, peace and love, baby, keep it groovy. Every time we pop out, you know it's a movie. If I'm in hot water, then it's a jacuzzi. I gotta shake, so I'm throwing deuces. I gotta uh, even when I'm down back. Yeah, I know how to bounce back, cause you know I gotta. On top of that, she good for me. Made me wanna say, Uh-oh. even though I got plenty. If I'm down to my last penny, I still gotta. Catching the vibe. I told the valet, take your time, it might get a ride. I'm floating through the front door, my mind is tied. Good Lord, mama, you know you're looking divine. I had to turn around, double take. 
take a look at that. Girl, you got good taste. Where you cook it at? You can mingle with the cool kids. Girl, I'm out here sweating like a preacher in a pool pit. Even when I'm down bad, I know how to bounce back. I know I got her. And she look good, don't she? On top of that, she good for me. Made me want to say. And even though I got plenty, if I'm down to my last penny, I still got her. I know I got her. I know I got her. Party on a 
to flex and I have God as my witness. Police tried to slow me down, but they couldn't stop it. I got platinum flex, like I got cars in my wallet. I got millions. Got the fuck inside my bag and out my feelings. Got a couple carbon copies, I got children. Only that's around me is my Brazilian. Moving militant, no regular civilian. Business as usual, usually I wouldn't smile. It's a cost a couple thousand, some millions. The past bananas, but I have a sin that you thought it was over. You brag of ignorance, you lack the vision from sacrilegious. I feel my wrath as you have offended. My clearly crap the mission with crass intentions. You may have given the crowd a so you can save now. No. This ain't the end, and you might as well go and lay down. No. Make way to witness the hype of going to fade down. Whoa. You pray for distance from guys like me, it's too late now. Preparation beats opportunity, no? no, no. Being great as ambiguity, no? No, no? Too much at stake for your foolery, is it though? No, no. Keep on hating, it's fuel to me, did you know? No. What have I done? What are my motives? What am I thinking? What do you think? What's to be done? Who needs a motive? I won't be defeated. They don't want to see it. Don't want to believe it. But no one will stop to the most uneven. even. I'm close to achieving my goals. I'm leading. It shows them everything that I believe in. I ain't here to fight, Phil. I got everything to lose. Cheat codes. I'm flattered, but I don't need those. I ain't playing by the rules. I ain't playing with you. Tragedies happen, one for the eating. No umbrella can shelter the way I storm on your weekend. I'm not interested, I wanna form an allegiance. I'm simply captivated on how you mourn my achievements. One we'll screw away from feeling I'm gonna lose it. So who's to blame if I cultivated a moment? Stupid claims, I'm a lunatic and I'm clawless. But you'll rule the day when I'm doing this for amusement. Preparation means opportunity, yes. Being great as ambiguity, yes. Too much at stake for your foolery, this a test. Keep on hating, this fuel to me, I ain't stressed. You gonna stop me? Well, ain't that so? Ain't nothing gonna block me from the pain I know. You have no other choice but to watch me reap the flames I grow. You probably think that I'm ungodly, but I ain't that low. But I ain't here to fight, Phil. I got everything to lose. Cheat codes, I'm flattered, but I don't need those. I ain't playing by the rules. I ain't playing with you. My mouth's watering like I stay teething. You can't reason with the animal that's loose in my brain tweaking. You don't really know me. If you think you do get amnesia, got a problem, I'm subtracting you like a mad teacher. I'm that lethal like a threat to a mad preacher. I send you up to Christ if you cross me, you act even. Preparation means opportunity, maybe. Being great is ambiguity, baby. Too much at stake for your foolery, ain't it crazy? Keep on hating, it's fuel to me, you won't face me. You ain't really hard like you imagining, bragging about being toxic, but you ain't really that hazardous. Rap God, if you don't believe in me, then it's blasphemous. Everything that you are is an acronym to my adjectives. But I ain't here to fight, Phil. I got everything to lose. Cheat codes, I'm flattered, but I don't need those. I ain't playing by the rules. I ain't playing with you.
count this money, then I count my blessings. Ooh. If I ever took an L, then it's still for lesson. Yeah. I'm the one, ain't no second guessing. Tried to dim my light, but my soul fluorescent. Wait, I tried to stay, but depressing. Wait. I even prayed to God, he ain't get the message. I'm living in the present, they gon' feel my presence. You can't dim my light, cause I'm luminescent. Ooh. I rose from the ashes of the section. I seen a stranger in my own reflection. I point the in my own direction. I would have did it for my own protection. Keep debating about the go. I'm the one like two, three, four, five. How you playing both sides? How I made one million, two million, multi. How I made eight figures, eight million, four times. And I was underutilized the whole time. It's rigged. I guess they couldn't find a gold mine. You dig? The sheep sleep on me, but the ghost co sign. I stopped thinking about the future because we got no time. The world changed. Damn. The world changed. Yeah, I tried and failed. I see my best friend's jail, but betrayal was the real pain. <laughs> Damn, the world changed. Look, I built walls around the house, networking. All these blood suckers, I just hope this networking. So searching, broken harder with my chest hurting. But I was gifted with the best curses. I'm suffocating and my weight keep fluctuating. I showed love, how the f you hating? Damn, I'm the greatest, but that's unrelated. I either overstate my welcome or I'm underrated. Lately, I've been trying to wake sleepers. The fake woke and the gatekeepers. Too shallow for big fish, I stay deeper. We all gotta meet the same reaper and the same maker, even if we never touch the same paper. Made enough for a surplus, quotas, but the money brought us much closer. Used to be silent when they load up. Remember that? Now they sit around and upload them. I swear the world changed. I swear to God the world changed. You should tell her that you love her. Now you can't even remember that girl name. <laughs> I swear to God the world changed.